Hey everyone, it's me, Audrey, and this is my mom and me back in the 90s. If you watched my how to make ramen video, I got a few questions about where my dress is from, and it's actually my mom's from when I was little. I went up to my childhood home to see her recently and brought back quite a few of her old clothes from that time period. Most of them are dresses, and I thought it would be fun to try them on, so let's get started. Beginning with my favorite piece first, it's this denim dress that hits me right at the ankle, and I just love the silhouette of this dress so, so much. All the little details make the fit really flattering, I think, and I totally remember my mom wearing this back in the day, so it just feels really special. The tag says the brand is Mix It, I guess. Never heard of it, but I love it. The way it's sewn gives me a little more shape, and it has a tie at the back to cinch in my waist. The silver buttons go from the neckline all the way to the hemline, and I like leaving it a little open to show some leg. It's casual, and I can see myself wearing this a lot. This next dress is kinda similar, except it's a floral button-up dress, and the brand is Erica. Floral print dresses are kind of a staple for me, and I do like this one, but it is kind of tight in the armpits. Even though it has this adjustable crisscross detail that ties at the back, it still doesn't fit me quite right, I don't think. I do like the neckline a lot. Not quite a v-neckline, almost like a diamond shape. The dress also moves really nicely along the bottom half. Moving on, I'm just gonna call this my ramen dress. Like I said, if you watched that cooking video, this is what I wore in it. This is one of the most comfortable pieces in my closet. It's kind of a skater dress style. And if you look at the back, it's another crisscross adjustable tie situation. So I always think this flatters my body very well. And I feel very confident in this dress. As for the brand, the tag says Rampage. The next dress I'm gonna share would be my favorite, but it's a little tight on me and the zipper's broken, so that's what we're dealing with. This floral print though, oh, I think it's gorgeous and it just complements my skin tone. I'm gonna try to see if I can fix the zipper because I wanna wear this so bad. <laughs> Some of the threads have gotten loose around the neckline and straps, but I'm just gonna teach myself to sew so I can save this dress. The brand is All That Jazz, and it's made in California where I'm from, so that's cool. And even cooler is this picture of my mom wearing it with my dad and me. Okay, so this dress, I don't know how else to describe it other than super funky fresh. <laughs> the brand is a rampage, and the print is very loud and colorful, and it's also really short on me. Cannot bend over in this dress at all. I want to say I have memories of my mom wearing this when we were on vacation or something like that because even though it's made of cotton, uh, the form-fitted shape and the draped waist detail dresses it up for kind of more of a special occasion. I'd probably wear this out when I'm going for a really bold look. Moving on to a similarly bold statement dress from the brand Split Decision. I actually don't feel the most comfortable in this. It really hugs your body, and if I'm wearing this when I'm bloated like I am right now, it really emphasizes my lower gut. I'd probably only wear this on days that I'm feeling really confident since it's a very, like, look at me kind of dress. The neckline is high. The back is low. And then there's a tiny split at the hem that's just waiting to expose me, so I'm not too sure about this one. Up next, this dress reminds me of going to a school dance, or like I'm Cher in the movie Clueless. While I love the silhouette and the color and the fabrics, there are a few food stains and some of the seams are damaged on this dress, so it needs some work. My favorite part of this dress is the neck slash bust line. 
that the fabric has a nice sheen to it. Love the white straps and the tie front detail that also matches the trim on the bottom. The tag says that this one is by Trilogy. This last dress is a two-piece navy suit and I've always just worn the jacket when I borrowed this from my mom as the skirt is just a standard pencil skirt. But together it reminds me of a peplum dress. This is a little fancy for my style but I do like the way the jacket fits especially because it wraps and ties around the waist. Definitely something I'd wear for a more professional setting I guess. and the tag says the brand is Allen Page. So this next piece is actually a vest. I'm just wearing a top and some shorts under it, and this is Old School Express. It's a button-up style vest in a knit fabric, and I don't really know what I'm gonna style this with. I do like the color, the buttons are fun, has the tie-back waist my mom seems to be really fond of. I'll have to see what I can do with this one. I also brought back with me my mom's old leather jacket, and this one is all about the fringe. It has such a great movement to it, and there's all these little bolo details, and buttons with skulls on them. My mom's been asking if I wanted this jacket for years and I'm just appreciating it now. So I'm really glad she kept it for me. Here is the tag. Uh, I don't want to butcher the word, but I think it's pronounced Verducci. I'm not sure, but they do make a good jacket. The very last item is this chambray button up top that I'm just wearing with a skirt. The tag says that it's from BWB or Best World Brand. The fabric wrinkles really easily, so sorry it looks kind of messy. I like the collar. The tie front. And that it's a crop top style. I took this from my mom's closet a long time ago because I like it so much. So that's it for the clothes. I hope you enjoyed and found it fun to see some of the stuff my mom bought and wore before I was born and when I was little. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.